Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Techie Code Buddy. I hope you are doing extremely well and your placement preparation is also going well. Well guys, first of all, if you are new to this channel or haven't subscribed this channel till now, then do consider subscribing this channel as this really motivates me to make more such content for you and for your placement preparation. Right? Also, don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you will never miss any update from my side. Alright? Also, you can join our Telegram community. The link for the same is given in the description box. There you can discuss with your peer and uh, your batchmate as well. Okay, so yeah, let's start with the video now. So this is the video for Tech Mahindra. Okay, and especially for round two, that means technical programming and computer science questions, right? In the previous video, I have uploaded the questions from quant, reasoning and verbal ability. And uh, most of you were requesting me to upload technical part most right so this is the video about technical part so let's start with the video now. so first of all let me take the pen okay so which language is mostly used for system programming visual basic java c javascript although these uh, these languages like java python c plus plus and so these are used for system programming but the most used right the mostly used programming is c here so the correct option over here is all right, so let's move on to the next question. The next question is, which symbol shows this is a node in a programming flowchart? So in the programming flowchart, the diamond shaped symbol represents the this is a node. All right, oval stands for terminator like start or end and triangle is used for merging the process to make a common flow and a circle is something else and diamond shape is used for this is a node. Right, so let's move on to the next question. The next question is, which of the following keyword is used in JavaScript to define a variable? So these are question, these questions are from computer programming and computer science, right? So you have to tell the answer that what is the keyword to define a variable in JavaScript? So we can use either let and where, right? So both of A and B is true here in the JavaScript to define a variable. So moving on to the next question. The next question is, which of the following is a correct format of an email address? Name at the red website.com, name dot website at the red dot com, name dot website dot com, name at the red website at the red com. Okay, so let's uh, consider like, uh, so, uh, there is an email ID that is xyz at the red gmail dot com. All right, there is a mail ID and this is a valid mail ID, right? So this is name and then at the rate symbol so name at the rate symbol then website that means gmail right gmail.com so this can be the right answer from here so option number a will be the correct answer over here so let's move on to the next question the next question is how to ensure that the password chosen for an important website is secure note it down in a safe place if you note it down in a safe place uh, consider if uh, you will lost it then it will be a problem for you, right? So this no, this cannot be the answer. Let the browser store the password. So if you uh, store your password, but someone else is using your laptop or your desktop or some, or your device, so he or she can misuse your password, right? So it is not, again, the safe idea. Now, use a very long password. So yeah, from these options, it can be the most uh, fulfill fulfill answer we can say that if you use a very long password so it will be hard to crack it right so yeah let's move on to the next question the next question is which of the given tool is used by the web servers to maintain or serve the web pages in secured manner so to in secured manner we use https or we can say web server use https not http https right this is a protocol that is used in web pages for more secured manner right so yeah let's move on to the next question the next question is how do we alter an element's background color so by changing background colors uh, directly we can alter the element's background color, right so option number a will be the correct answer over here and this question is from html right or we can say C, uh, css as well this question is basically from web development Again, which git command begins tracking of a new file? So add command. 
add command with the add command begins tracking of a new file in git you know git and github right so add command will use for begin tracking of a new file so yeah let's move on to the next question and also guys you should know the basic commands of git right it will be very helpful for you and if you are from cs or it background then uh, you have to know these commands right so let's move on to the next question the next question is why we used to divide a long program into smaller functions or procedures for good output some languages make it important to make program readable and efficient or none of the ever so the correct answer guys is to make program readable and efficient so if you write just long and long code so it will be hard to understand it properly right and it will it will not be an efficient program so to make your program readable and efficient what you do you will break it down into smaller functions or procedures so it will be more readable to you so let's move on to the next question which software is needed to make a peripheral device work with a computer device driver device drivers are used or are needed to make a peripheral device work with a computer so let's move on to the next question next question is which sql command is used to change the structure of a database table so alter command alter command is used to uh, change the structure of a database table so let's move on to the next question the next question is ddl stands for and also guys from here you have to tell me that alter is in which language right alter comes under which language so let's move on to the next question ddl stands for so ddl stands for data definition language option number b will be the correct answer over here and remember the full form it full form of ddl it is very useful for you right so let's move on to the next question the next question is in which of the following cases a dml statement is not executed when existing rows are modified no when table is deleted yeah in case your table is deleted then dml statement is not going to be executed there right so b option will be the correct answer over here so let's move on to the next question now the next question is which of the given option determine the visual aspect of web page separately from the content html css javascript or dhtml so visual aspect of a web page separately from the content so it will determined by the css visual aspect right so it will be determined by the css let's move on to the next question the next question is which of the following feature is useful to add the functionality by third parties to the chrome browser so we all uh, are very familiar to it that we use plugin to add third parties functionality in our chrome browser plugin will be the correct answer over here right so let's move on to the next question the next question is what purpose does javascript no script tag serve clear all the cookies and cache the content are displayed by browsers without js support both a and b or none of the ever so no script tag is used for clear all the cookies and cache memory right so let's move on to the next question how does one declare a data type of constant type in javascript so to declare a data type of constant type we use const keyword in every programming language either java either javascript c++ c or etc right so we use const keyword there which css is typically advised for creating huge web pages so if you are creating a website or web page that will include huge web page or you are making a long website like there are numerous page or there are various kind of pages so what you will do uh, it will be advised to you that you should use external css files right so it will be easy for you to code let's move on to the next question the next question is how does one declare internal css in html so to declare internal css in html what you will do you will use the style tag there now the question is the hypertext transfer protocol http allows clients to establish direct connections with server using using telnet the http protocol allow clients to establish the direct connection with servers using telnet let's move on to the next question the next question is the chart with no code and only function flow is referred to as so there is no code 
and only function flow so there will be only function flow like how the program will go so it will be just a drum uh, uh, like uh, diagrammatic representation without code so it will be called as flowchart right so let's move on to the next question algorithms and flowchart are used for better programming efficient coding easy debugging all of the above so all of the above factors are considered for algorithm and flowchart so all of the above will be the correct answer over here okay so let's move on to the next question the next question is which of the following pseudo code instructions are written with the steps to be taken in the correct order sequence logic and selection logic iterating logic or looping logic so pseudo code instructions are written with the steps to be taken in the correct order sequence logic okay sequence logic will be the correct answer from here so let's move on to the next question the next question is which symbol is used to represent output in flowchart so to represent the output in flowchart we will use parallelogram parallelogram will be the correct answer over here and guys in tech mahindra i analyzed that there are too many questions from flowchart and algorithm right just a theory concept flowchart and algorithm and so to code so make sure to pair these theory concept you can refer the tutorials point tutorial right Uh, there will be one or two page article and you will uh, you will be having the proper knowledge of what is flowchart what is an algorithm and what are pseudo codes right so coming back to the point the question is the three things inside the for loop separated by so in the for loop what is the syntax of for loop is like there is the initialization then this will be separated by semicolon right and there will be a condition and then there will be a modification either i uh, either incrementation or decrementation or something else right and these all three are separated by semicolon semicolon will be the correct answer over here let's move on to the next question the next question is which of the following statement enables us to make decisions from the available options so to make decisions right decision making sentence what are some decision making sentence break so break will uh break will use to break the flow of the program right switch switch can be the answer because switch is used for decision making for is a loop and go to is again like break go to and continue has their own uh, functionality right so switch is something that is used for decision making sentence right so switch will be the correct answer but let's move on to the next question now the next question is which of the following are possible causes of runtime errors are logical error hardware connected improperly incorrect data or all of the above so runtime errors can be done by any of these so all of the uh, all of the above will be the correct answer over here i don't know my uh, why my tongue is uh, slipping again anyway leave it so the process of finding errors in the code is known so the process of finding errors in uh, and give them a correctness it will called as debugging right so yeah let's move on to the next question the next question is sol needs to execute a section of code 10 times within a program so sol is the name of a person here he needs to execute a section of code 10 times within a program compare the selection structure below and select which one meets the needs identified so can he accomplish his task by if else no can he accomplish his task by for loop so yeah because here it is given that he needs to uh, run the code or to execute the code 10 times right there is a certain number of uh, time that 10 times he used to use so for loop will be the correct answer over here so let's move on to the next question the next question is a loop that never ends is referred to as or n so a loop that never ends is called as infinite loop we all know that it will be an infinite loop so infinite loop will be the correct answer over here so yeah that's all for today from my side i hope all the questions are clear to you but still you have doubts in any question for sure you can ask me in the comment section or in the telegram for you so we will meet in the next video till then bye bye and take care and if you found this video useful then what you need to do If you haven't subscribed this channel, then do consider subscribing this channel. Also, guys, do share this video with needy people so that they can also be able to crack their Tech Mahindra exam in the upcoming days. So yeah, let's meet in the next video. Till then, bye bye. Take care.